Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, more than likely, we'll make it to at least 90 degrees tomorrow afternoon. That should make it an official uh, heat wave, the first one of the summer season. Even though the month of July has been very warm to hot, we'll finally get three consecutive days of 90 or higher. Newport looking good. We are clear, warm, humid, and we tend to look at the coastline when the humidity is very high, uh, especially late at night. And while the visibility is good right now, some of that humidity may condense into a little bit of fog very late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But for now, visibility pretty good. Any fog early in the morning near the beaches should burn off rapidly. High temp today at the airport in Warwick, officially at 91. The average is 83, so well above average. Even the early morning low temp of 74, well above the uh, normal low temp, which is about 65. Another hot day coming up for tomorrow. Oakland Beach and Warwick in the upper 70s. You add in that humidity, feels more like 82, so somewhat of a modest heat index even during the uh, nighttime hours. Temps now range in the mid to upper 70s, 79 Providence, as well as westerly. Newport 75, New Bedford 75 will stay in the 70s all night long. So the threat tracker tonight for the most part is quiet. We'll bump, bump it back up to yellow on Tuesday as the heat advisory continues. Those feel like temperatures during the afternoon running anywhere from 95 to near 100, mainly dry in terms of thunder, but the humidity will be high. Like today, I wouldn't rule out an isolated pop up thunderstorm late in the afternoon. I just think a vast majority of the day should be rain and thunder free. Uh, we break the heat on Wednesday, though. It is very warm for midweek, just not as hot. Doppler radar and the satellite looking good. Clear skies across southern New England. Thunderstorms in upstate New York weakening, so not a factor in our forecast. But this is our next weather player that we're tracking across the Great Lakes in the Midwest. It's a cold front, the leading edge of some slightly drier, slightly cooler air. This arrives on Wednesday. We're thinking the timing probably late afternoon and early evening, and with it will come some scattered showers and some thunderstorms. You can see out ahead of that front of the very warm and humid conditions up and down the East Coast right now. All right, let's walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening. We'll follow the time bar right up in here. Temps overnight in the 70s, kind of warm and muggy. A little bit of fog along the coastline early in the morning, burning off. The beaches should be pretty good once the fog burns off. It's kind of a cloud-sun mixture tomorrow afternoon. Notice inland temperatures in the low 90s, the coastline in the yellow lower 80s, of course, feeling hotter with the humidity. Six o'clock in the evening, still upper 80s to low 90s. Slight, slight chance north and west of Providence of an isolated thunderstorm. Most of us are dry. Tomorrow night is warm and muggy as well. Rapid warm up tomorrow morning. Look, it's already in the 80s early in the morning. So this time of year, when you're 80 at 9 a.m., you know the afternoon's going to be hot. Lower 90s during the afternoon with some hazy sunshine. Seven day forecast. Uh, the beaches, uh, early morning fog, but looking okay. Mainly sunny air temperature not quite as hot near the coast 82 water temp coming in at 72 degrees uh, Wednesday scattered showers and thunderstorms primarily primarily late day and into Wednesday evening ending early Thursday morning drying out Thursday afternoon Friday into the weekend looking good temperatures warm up again over the weekend but not too excessive with daytime highs mid 80 so hot one tomorrow uh, heat index running about 98 98 uh, 99 degrees Next. all right Tony thanks Cut